Hey everyone, it's B. Avery here, and thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Just My Opinion. I really do appreciate it. So you saw the thumbnail of this video, and this episode we're going to be talking about Avengers Endgame and what it potentially has a chance to make at the box office. Now, when you saw the thumbnail, you were probably saying to yourself, okay, what is, well, who is this person? What are they talking about? Are they really considering that a film has has a chance to make three billion dollars worldwide that is unheard of of course no film has done that before avatar is just kind of in its own universe as far as numbers at the box office is concerned and you know there's no way any other film is going to come even remotely close to that i i disagree with that if anyone is making that argument if any film does have a chance to compete with avatar or to reach a three billion dollar worldwide mark at the box office i really do think avengers endgame has a chance of doing that now why do i feel that way well first of all we have um captain marvel that's going to be released into theaters and no more than two weeks from now the reactions from the first uh, press screening just released earlier this week and across the board they're outstanding everybody is saying that this this film is great it's you know some people are saying that they've never seen anything like this before it's very empowering with women it does have a little controversy right now with the recent comments of brie larson in her press tour as she you know stating that she wants a more diverse inclusive um uh, press audience to cover her film and that has a few people upset um, I did make a video recently on that giving my honest and genuine opinion video almost has as many dislikes as it does likes but you know uh, and, and, and about that you know some people in the comment section were just saying you know Brandon you know you're, you're full of crap you're you're just making this video for views well I, I will admit y'all did catch me yes I did make the video just for views, but I think everybody that uploads videos to YouTube are doing it to get views. But overall, the film Captain Marvel does have a lot of positive buzz. And if you've seen Avengers Infinity War, which I have right here on 4K, go ahead and get your copy as well. If you've seen Avengers Infinity War, you know the end, you know that Captain Marvel is being contacted to come from across the galaxy to come help out. So when you have a leading film like Captain Marvel leading up into the Avengers, um, you know, that that's just nothing but good marketing in my opinion. Now, Black Panther, which came out about a year ago, got that right there on 4K too. It was great leading into Infinity War as well. Black people, I mean, movie for, was for everybody but of course you know black people black americans black people are all around the world um are going to be attached to that film and they loved it i mean it made 1.3 billion dollars worldwide it made 700 million dollars here in the states breaking all types of records and that film was three months going into infinity war and i like to say that that film did boost that film you know just a little bit but now you have captain marvel leading into that film as well which is possibly i haven't seen it yet i've bought my tickets i haven't seen it yet but with this film only six weeks leading into avengers endgame i think it's it's going to boost it that much more but only if captain marvel is great and if you look at all these first reactions it seems like that is the case also captain marvel is a very popular character kevin feige the president of the film division at marvel studios he has said many times that captain marvel will be the most powerful avenger uh in their mcu up to date possibly even stronger than thor or um uh, the Incredible Hulk, which we all know those two characters are very, very powerful. So if if Captain Marvel is coming in, in there as well as a female, you know, kicking all types of butts, you're going to have a whole bunch of women at the theater, in my opinion, that are like, yeah, rah, 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 Avengers Endgame, let's go. Kind of like Black Panther did leading into Avengers uh, Infinity War. Now, the Russo brothers have been releasing a lot of information just about the length of this movie, just saying that it right now is standing at about three hours. I really do hope that they will uh, keep it at the three hour mark. Um, just because there's just so much story to tell out of 22 plus films or however many numbers we're at right now in this uh, cinematic universe. 
you know, this is the culmination of everything. So there's a lot of story to tell. There's a lot of build up. There's a lot of anticipation. So you're going to have to fit a lot in. So I think that three hour mark is, is just right on the money. Uh, you know, I would actually be disappointed if it was two hours and 30 minutes or two hours and 45 minutes. But even, you know, they, they made these films at the same time. Of course, everybody knows that Avengers Infinity War and Endgame and they know what they're doing before Affinity War was being released they were just saying we have to deliver we have to deliver on Thanos and in my opinion they delivered on Thanos 100% they didn't deliver on everything 100% in Infinity War and I'll mention that in a second but for them to have that mindset going into um, Avengers Infinity War before it was released you know that they're going to do their homework and have all their ducks in a row when they're you know doing all the fine tuning for in game to make sure it is the best movie possible joint like i said joint they have have a ton of interviews collider of course one of my number one go-to sites to get my movie news they have they've done a lot of interviews they did uh one with steve frosty weinthrob who is the editor-in-chief over there where they had a lot of um uh, audience members and fans answering questions we recently had another interview with collider done by steve where it had joe and anthony russo and three of the leading visual effects artists uh, within Marvel Studios or one of their, um, you know, one, one of their visual effects houses, just kind of talking about all the back end and the length of the film and, you know, just what they need to do to make the film be as best as possible. And I really do think that they're going to give us a film um, that is just going to knock us off our socks. I mean, everybody enjoyed Infinity War, but I think that everybody is going to enjoy Endgame that much more. Now, it was a one fan that was in that long interview um about um avengers infinity war and the russo brothers was kind of being sarcastic and i don't blame them because you know they were getting criticized a little bit just like you know hey where did we f up in avengers infinity war and i really don't blame them for that it, it, it's kind of you know uh you know you kind of being a, a a butthole you know if you're just like i didn't like the movie i mean you can say you don't like the movie but y'all should have did better than this you should have did this and you know yada 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 i mean i don't know how to make a movie i'm not gonna come at them like that if they said brandon here's 250 million dollars to make a movie i would be scared out of my mind like um where do where do we cut on the camera you know uh, excuse me i didn't mean to hit the mic so you know i i just say all that to say they know the anticipation of this film they know that people are salivating at the mouth you know to want to see this film as big as affinity war is they know that in game has to be much better and you know i think that they're going to do that now last year at the end of last year uh, i want to say september october ish that's when they was going in to do reshoots for in game and of course that's standard procedure now they schedule that you know months and years beforehand before pre-production starts they were you know they're, they're going to be you know since they made uh infinity war and endgame at the same time of course they're fine-tuning everything right now just like, okay what did everybody like in infinity war let's do more of that you know what did they not like in avengers infinity war you know let's try to improve on that and, and you know that that goes also black panther i mean of course everything is tied in kevin feige knows everything of course he's he's leading the the horse in in this race right now and the russo brothers and this powers that be at marvel studios started shooting avengers infinity war in endgame before black panther and of course we knew that you know black panther's black panther when the trailer first came out for infinity war we found out that you know black panther or wakanda is you know has a lot to do you know in avengers infinity war and so me myself i would have said to myself oh my gosh black panther was just so great wasn't perfect but it was so great and then when the trailers for infinity war we have this battle that's going down in the wakanda oh my goodness gracious this is going to be the best thing ever now the russo brothers came out a number of times just saying that hey they did not know that black panther was going to be such a big hit they just did not know and so they did not put as much black panther in infinity war as they possibly thought and in my opinion infinity war hurt just a little bit before that because i mean and they didn't know this it's not their fault you know if they because um, one of the complaints about infinity war was that a lot of it towards the end did kind of seem rushed and i am one of the people um that feels that way um i i you 
know, I, it just didn't really make any sense to me. But, you know, after the movie came out, I was just kind of saying to myself, OK, man, they should have had more Black Panther in that movie. If there's a war in this film with the film with Black Panther coming out months before. So I don't think that they're going to make that mistake. I'm not saying that because Black Panther was success successful that Black Panther or Wakanda needs to be in every movie. But no, Wakanda was in Infinity War. So that's why I'm saying that. So I say all that to say that. When they were doing the reshoots in October or September of last year, I would think that it would say, OK, we didn't know that, Black, you know, Black Panther is going to be a hit. But now we have enough time to go back and do more research, possibly bring in more characters of Black Panther. The black audience is going to show up, you know, more for this movie if there is more black people or Black Panther or Wakanda in Avengers Endgame. I mean, but only if that has to do with the story. I don't want them just shoehorning that in there. I mean, if they already had, you know, Wakanda and Black Panther and all that good stuff, you know, um, standing out in in game, I think that they should step it up just a little bit more to sell those tickets, you know, but only if it's going to deliver the best story as possible. But just back to the money and I, I, all that talking I'm setting up, but all that talking the only way, the only way in the world that Avengers Endgame will come remotely close to uh, either Avatar at 2.7 billion worldwide or 3 billion worldwide is it has to meet expectations. It, uh, it cannot fall below expectations. It either has to meet expectations or exceed expectations. And with Avengers Infinity War making $257 million in its opening weekend, um, that's the most, you know, it was the most anticipated film you know, ever, in my opinion, and I think Endgame is more so, you know, if it meets expectations, like, people can't be walking out of this film, just be like, you know, it was good, it was great, or I liked it a lot, they have to be walking out of this film saying, oh my gosh, this was one of the best movies I've ever seen in my entire life, all the characters were freaking fantastic, I love the development, I love the dialogue, I love the character growth, Every single character in this movie had a moment to shine. The story made sense. The villain made sense. I got everything I wanted. That is the only way. It, I mean, I'm pretty... I'm going to go ahead and assume and come to a conclusion right now that um, Avengers Endgame will make at least $2 billion like the first film. I really don't see how it can't with Avengers Endgame being much, much bigger and opening the MCU to a whole nother world of possibilities. But I really do feel that if Avengers Endgame meets expectations or, of course, exceeds, ex exceeds expectations that fans all around the world are going to show up more and more over and over and over again, you know, you know, buying tickets three, four times just to go see this movie. I mean, in my opinion, with Black Panther. The average per the average black person, not the average person, the average black person, I think, probably saw the film at least, you know, two or three times in the theater. That, I didn't mean the average comic book fan, the average black person. So if you have that with just comic book fans in general, movie fans in general, black people, if Wakanda and Black Panther is in, in game a lot in general, Captain Marvel fans and women, if Captain Marvel plays a prominent role in in game, I, I think all that's going to happen. All cylinders have to be firing at 100 percent optimal precision for this to happen and I, I actually think you know it has a chance of doing that but guys that is just my opinion of this video of avengers endgame possibly reaching three billion dollars um i really think it has a chance to do it i cannot wait tickets are not on sale yet but as soon as they are i will be one of the first to buy my tickets for that imax uh screening back row middle is the best seat in the house but guys, again, thank you so much for tuning into my video. I really do appreciate it. What did you think of this? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you did like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. If you don't, that's fine, but you can still subscribe to my channel. You can also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's right there at the bottom of your screen, and I made it easy by providing links to all that down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to another episode of Just My Opinion. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.